And here in the bow tank, plants are doing amazingly well, especially, check out this one. I have never had something grow so beautifully. It's almost overshadowing my favorite plants next to it, the Madagascar lace plant. How many stems does that have, you ask? I'm going to say it's more than 20, and the leaves are doing beautifully. Fish are loving it, of course. Yes, it's overcrowded, but uh, it's even outgrowing this other reddish plant that I brought from that Disc Madness shop. Anyway, just giving you a quick one. Amazing, huh? CO2 every day. Fertilizer once a week. Plant tabs once a quarter. Also, the neons are doing well in here now that we got rid of that upside down catfish that was eating them the fast I put them in there. So things are going well here. And look at that. Amazon sword plant buried down there. A full view of that bow tank with the curly leaf plant doing so beautifully there. Not sure how to capture the luxury growth that I'm getting out of that plant, but it has taken off, overshadowing, like I said, the Madagascar lace plant just to its right. Wouldn't be more pleased, I'll tell you. Just need a bigger tank to be able to handle such big plants, huh? Not going to happen. This fits just right on that wall, as you can see. Every once in a while I go to one of the pet shops and I see a bigger tank and I say, wow, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, this is a, I think a 53 gallon, I could be wrong, something in that range. But it's doing very well. Bettors are doing well. I was watching a YouTube the other day of prize winning bettors, and I'll tell you, I think this one will hold up its own in that competition. That beautiful finish. And of course the red one next to it looks mild by comparison, but what a deep red. You can't really catch it in this particular video. So I'll focus in on this particular one. The corner tank continues to do very well. I'm actually splitting out the corkscrew valisneria from the bed of them over here that are overpopulating. And I did move out some of that water wisteria from the office tank to here. And so far it's doing okay. And I put the corkscrew valisneria across some to the right side. And Right down in front there. In the shadows of this Italian valve, is it? 
that in the Madagascar lace plant is really growing out in terms of those narrow leaves that I was complaining about originally taking on their own look now. Couldn't be more pleased. And next to it is that plant moved over a cu couple cuttings from the bow tank that are doing so well here. Have to cut them back also now. And of course the Amazon sword plants here continue to do very well, especially the tall one in the background. Obviously different varieties. This one's huge, medium one in front, and then we have a smaller one right down in front here. Neons are doing very well here. This school is about 25 of them. And uh, I'm very pleased with how well they're doing. Also a lot of baby fish growing up into young adults here. So the planting is really giving the protection they need. And there's that other new betta in here. Again, we've got two bettas. They seem to be doing okay together. They got those two Pakistani loaches keep chasing each other around. And there's the second betta. And the red one right down center here. And they don't seem to pay much attention to each other, so as somebody said on their YouTube videos. You can keep two males together if you have enough vegetation. Oh, there they are, together. They said they don't pay attention to each other. Well, go ahead, make me a liar. Well, you can see they're not fighting with each other as much as just showing off to each other. And this one really has some beautiful finish on it. I don't know if you're going to catch it in the light here, but it does. So you saw the encounter. Not much of no combativeness, no ripping of fins, just paying attention to each other and saying, hey, I look more beautiful than you are. Nothing particularly new here in the office tank. We should continue to do well. The uh, babies are growing up here now. As you can see in this close-up, most of them are the uh, young fish. Platties, guppies, etc. Growing out. That Amazon sword is buried back there, but doing well. And again, this is where I developed the uh, water wisteria that I'm trying to transplant back into the big tanks where it didn't do well originally. And we've got quite a few stems of it now just by cutting and replanting it. So we shall see. comes to talking, I'm the sweetest sweet talker in the world.